Hey guys, what's up? It's Joel Donato again, JD Inspires. Today I'm just kind of doing a little vlog of a little project that I was doing for class. And the project was just basically, we were making a video about Olympic weightlifting. So I just joined a gym, so coincidentally that happened. And I figured why not just go to the gym and make a video. Um, and I asked the coach and he was totally down for it and it was super cool. The gym is called Apex Fitness, right there. Yeah, Apex Fitness, and then right next door he has his own gym, uh, Ape Squad Weightlifting. So they're really cool people, they're really awesome, so I'm probably just gonna follow this with the actual video that we made for the class. So, yeah. Hey, what's up? I'm Luke Seifert with Ape Squad Weightlifting, and this is Jeffrey Perez, and today we are going to teach you guys how to snatch. Uh, first thing we start with is always hand placement and hook grip. So as a quick exercise in where we're gonna put our hands naturally to get the feel of that bar, we're gonna center the PVC pipe, we're gonna tuck it into our hips, and we're just gonna kinda of bend over. And this is a this is a quick shot thing. There's far more thorough ways to find someone's snatch grip, but in this instance here, it's gonna be quick and direct, and we can apply it to that session. So I'm gonna take my wrist bone, I'm gonna cross it over the PVC pipe at my arm's full reach with my chest up, just like this. And then from there, I'm simply gonna stand up and wrap my hands. Once I have my hands wrapped, this should provide me with like a good surface area against my hips where it's not up too high and it's not down too low. So right across the hip bone there. And then once I have that, I'm going to teach them how to do the hook grip, which is where we do two fingers over our thumbs. Once we have that established here, you can move toward the floor, Jeff. Let me show them how we do that. Yep, the crease, bend over, arms reach, wrap your hands, get your hook grip. And then if you want to come over and do a check on the athlete to make sure it's in the right spot, have them hang at the hips, you find their hip bone, which in Jeff's case is going to be right here, and you make sure that the bar is in real close proximity to there. We don't want it down on the quad, and we don't want it up by the belly. That's bad. So once we've got that grip set up and marked, Jeff very well knows his, we can ditch the PVC pipes and move directly to a lightly loaded bar on the floor. Once we have that bar loaded up, we're gonna teach him how to approach the bar. For us, we always look for the midfoot here to be right under the barbell in the approach. And we're gonna have the athlete set up to where their feet are comfortably under their hips, okay? Foot position is up to them. If they wanna duck their toes out a little bit because it's comfortable, do that. If not, they like them straight, whatever. As long as we can get them moving properly, that's a big comfort thing. So once he has that set up, you're gonna see him sit in towards the bar and get his grip exactly where he wants it. And then he's gonna drop down into the start position. And notice how the bar didn't really move at all, it stayed in the same spot. The cues we want for that start position are gonna be butt down, knees through the elbows, and chest up. Now right here, right there, is a very, very painful spot. While I'm talking, he's hating me because his quads are on fire. But we're gonna talk about a few key points real quick. Knuckles are toward the floor, knees are through the elbows, bars in very close proximity to the athlete, I can't even get my finger in there, and he has a neutral line of sight. Definitely feeling a ton of quad burn, right? Yeah. So release and stand up. Give them a second, I do that two to three times so that they're comfortable and knowing that that is going to be massively uncomfortable all the time. So now, once we get past that, we'll move into the deadlift. So we're gonna have him get set up again, by this point in time, he should be very aware of how crappy that position feels. Once he is there, he may just stand up with the barbell, pushing with his legs through the ground. When he reaches the top, he's squeezing real tight through his quads, squeezing tight through his glutes. He's got his chest and shoulders straight down. They're not rolled forward, they're not pulled back, and he has his chin up or slightly tucked. We have him walk the bar back down on the floor the same way and do one more rep for us. Notice how he's resetting every time to get that, that, that good practice push. Beautiful. The big cue we use too is push with your legs, right? Awesome. So take a break. Now that we have the deadlift, we work the pull. The only instance that the pull is actually different is when we reach the top, we're going to punch through our toes, extending our ankles, our knees, and our hips, and shrug our shoulders up. And you guys can clearly see just by my demo there that I have a nice little arc up and back and I'm very tall, reaching my head toward the ceiling. Whenever you're ready, Jeff. This would be the snatch pull. Pop. Right at the hips, just like that. One more rep for us, please. 
Beautiful. All right. So now that we've established the snatch pull, we're going to evolve the movement even further and we're going to take it into the snatch high pull. Now the goal for the snatch high pull is to have the athlete get the bar to approximately their lower chest, sternum, xiphoid process area right here. We're going to have them keep their elbows on top of the bar and keep their knuckles toward the ground. And that's going to maintain the bar very close to their body and keep a nice tight pull. Let me do One more rep for us, please. You can hear the contact that he makes from having a patient pull. Beautiful. Evolving the movement even further. Now it's a step-by-step -step process. We're going to turn that snatch high pull into a muscle snatch. The muscle snatch enforces a proper pull through the bar, a good turnover, and what we really need to support weight, a nice rigid squeeze up. All right? Whenever you're ready. This would be the first in our snatch evolution. Muscle snatch. Beautiful. Yes, one more, please. Fantastic exercise for building not only a proper pull, but some really, really strong shoulders. We actually use that quite a bit, even for our athletes that aren't necessarily looking to be good at the snatch or the clean and jerk. Power snatches next. Now we're actually going to see the feet come into play. The whole time you've heard us talk about pulling feet, feet comfortably set underneath the hips of the athlete. Well now, his squatting feet, he's not gonna be able to efficiently squat with his position this tight. So you're gonna see his feet open up a little bit to where he would actually catch his overhead squats, perform his front squats, execute his back squats slightly wider, right? So we're gonna have him execute the power snatch now. Catch it in about a quarter squat with a shift to the feet. Very nice. He actually knows that he's been working with me long enough to know that we pause our catch positions just to show that we have awareness and control of that, of that quarter squat and catch. One more time for us. Beautiful. As you guys may notice on that video there too, you see him take a slight scoot back with his feet during that transition. That just shows that he's got really good leverage and power against the bar. You want to avoid that being excessive, but the, the, the small hop back um, preferred by myself as a good thing. <laughs> so now we're going to do the full snatch. He's seen muscle snatch, power snatch, and this is the entire evolution, the final form. of the movement, the snatch. You will now catch the bar in the bottom. Oh, beautiful. You see he has a beautiful bottom position from the side there. You guys can note that he's got a fully stacked torso, so he's straight up, up and down. He's reaching through the ceiling. Knees are out, hips are beautifully sitting in toward his heels. And that is your snatch. So yeah, the gym is really cool. Um, they do a lot of Metcon, which is metabolic conditioning, as well as specializing in um, weightlifting, which is what I have signed up for. That's one of the main reasons I got into this class. It's really awesome. Um, I just wanted to do something different aside from being the typical recreational uh, weightlifter or recreational resistance trainer at an LA Fitness or some sort of gym. I'm really being bothered by the sun right now. But yeah, they're really awesome. They're really friendly. They're really cool, down-to-earth people. Yeah, I'd say like if you're ever interested in weightlifting and you're in the... Oh, crap. <laughs> um, if you're ever interested in weightlifting and you're in the Central Florida area, I mean like if you really want it, you would travel for it. But um, they really do good classes and they really know their stuff. So I highly recommend them. So yeah.